Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make my quartz house number 10. I actually know the number of the house this week. Absolutely unheard of. We've reached the double digits, guys. We're on number 10. Isn't that crazy? I can't believe how far we've came with these. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need some block of quartz, some dark grey wool, also grab yourself some glass pane and finally grab yourself some glass block. Of course you might also want to grab some doors and buttons and buckets of lava and stuff like that but really all you need is those four materials right there. So once you have those and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you'll want to kick off your house with a row of five block of quartz coming directly up from the ground. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Once you have your row of 5 quartz, you then want to take this 5th block right here and go to the right of it by 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then connect this 8th block to the ground to give you a nice little archway shape like this. All of my house videos start this way now, guys. It's unbelievable. Oh, whilst we're here, I know a lot of you guys like to know this information, the entrance to the house is going to be going right here, just slap bang in the centre of this archway, so for those of you guys that like to know it for spacing reasons and positioning and all that stuff, that's where it's going to go. Once you have your archway shape, you now want to come round to the back of it, and you want to take each one of the top two corners of your archway, and you want to extend both of those corners going back towards where the back of the house is going to be, that direction right there, each by 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the other corner as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then connect both of those 10th blocks together and also connect them to the ground to give you a nice squarish looking shape like this. I suppose it's more of a rectangle, but hey, who's keeping track? Once you have your rectangle shape, this is what you want to do next, and I guess that you can do this from either the front or the back, it doesn't really matter. Come to the left hand side of your rectangle, and starting from the first block coming in from either the front or the back, so from this block or this block, you just want to do a row of 8 quarts, kind of like coming out of the side of your rectangle, so like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then connect that 8th block to the ground, like this, so you guys should be able to see what I'm talking about. Just like coming directly out of the left hand side of your rectangle shape. And once you've done that to the front side of your rectangle, you also want to do the exact same thing on the back as well. So coming to the back, the first block in, this one right here, a row of 8 coming out of the side. So towards me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You then also want to connect that 8th block to the ground, and you also want to connect it to the other 8th block to give you something which should look a little bit like this. Very simple. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now do the exact same thing on the right hand side of our rectangle shape. So coming over to the right hand side now, again you can start with either the front or the back, but you want to take this first block coming in and extend it coming out of the right hand side of our rectangle by 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then connect that 8th block to the ground. Then do the same thing coming towards the back here. First block in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Connect it to the ground and then connect it all the way to the other 8th block to give you a shape which should look, I don't know what the best view for this is, which should look a little bit like this. And that's just the base ground floor framework for the house. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, to make the next bit a little bit easier, you want to fill in what is essentially going to be the first floor. So, or the second floor, I should say. Yeah, because the first floor is the ground floor. I suppose it depends what sort of flooring system you're working with, whether it's hotel or domestic house. Either way, you want to fill... <laughs> what am I talking about? Either way, you want to fill in the entire second floor of your quartz house with, well, whatever material you want to use for the second floor. I would highly recommend quartz just because of how this house is kind of set out. So you just want to fill the entire top of your house 
in with whatever roofing material you want to use and as I said I'd probably use quartz and you'll see why once we move on to the next part. So what you want to end up with essentially once you've finished it you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. From the top it kind of looks like a belt. Yeah, yeah I'm seeing a belt there. So once you've filled in the entire second floor of your house, pause this if necessary of course if you're still working on that, once you have got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So you basically want to come to the front of your house and you want to locate this block right here. It should be quite easy to see what you have to do. Can you guys see what block I'm talking about? Of course you can, really simple. Take this block and raise it up from the ground by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Like that. You then want to go to the right of this fourth block by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then connect that sixth block to the ground to give you a mini archway shape kind of on top of your house. Can you see what I've done there? We've kind of just got like a mini archway balanced on top of the other archway except it's kind of like set a little bit back. Kind of gives you that perspective effect. Anyway, once you've got that taken care of, you now want to come all the way to the back of your mini archway shape, take each one of the two top corners of your archway, and extend each one of those corners back, coming towards the back of the house, each by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You then want to connect each one of those eight blocks together, and also connect each one of those eight blocks to the ground to give you a little mini rectangle shape sat on top of your ever so slightly larger rectangle. Once you've got that little mini rectangle taken care of, you now want to come to the left hand side of it and very similar to what we did ever so slightly earlier, you want to take each one of the first blocks coming in on the tops of your rectangle, coming in from the front and the back of your rectangle. You want to take each one of those two blocks and you want to extend each one of them coming out of the left hand side of the house each by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the back one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You then want to connect each one of those eight blocks together and then connect each one of those eight blocks to the ground to give you a shape which should look a little bit like this. And once you've got that taken care of on the left hand side of your mini rectangle, you now want to do the exact same thing on the right hand side. So coming out to the right, first blocks coming in from the front and the back, just extend them out towards the right hand side of the house each by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then connect each one of those eight blocks together. And then again, connect each one of those eight blocks to the ground. And what you should find once you've done that is you should have something which should look a little bit like this. And it should be fairly obvious what we've just made here. We now have a slightly smaller version of the base of our house just planted directly on top of it. It's the exact same shape except ever so slightly smaller. Once you've reached this point right here, we can now move on to the... Let's move on to the roof before we do anything decorative, shall we? So, once you have reached this point right here, pause this if necessary, all of that, of course, you can now move on. So, come to the middle upper section of your house, where your little mini rectangle is. You just want to add two rows of quartz block here and here. So you just want to add two rows of quartz, both on the front and backs of the top of your mini rectangle. It should hopefully be quite obvious where I've just added those. Once you've added those, you now want to take out your dark grey wool and you want to do this. It's kind of really hard to explain what I'm doing here, although I'm going to give it a go in a second, but it should be fairly obvious what you have to do once I've actually completed it. So, you basically just want to take out your dark grey wool, and one block higher, and one block inwards, in relation to the top of the framework of the second floor, you kind of just want to draw like a, 
a rectangle shape with your dark grey wool. Can you guys see what I've done there? Can you guys see how I've done... Oh, there you go. That's probably a bit of a better view for you guys. And you just want to do that with your dark grey wool. So just to show you from the top, and just in case it's not entirely obvious what I've done, just to give you a little bit of a tour. Is it obvious what I've just done there with the dark grey wool and why I've just added in an extra row of quartz on the front and the back of that little mini rectangle? Hopefully so. Anyway, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next, and let me just check my plans very quickly. Alright, so once you've got that first layer of dark grey wool added, you now want to add an additional layer of dark grey that is one block higher and one block outwards in relation to that original layer, which sounds ever so slightly complicated, but once you see what I've done or what I'm doing, as a matter of fact, you might find it really easy to just apply it for yourself. It's, it's not hard whatsoever, it's just that... Putting some of these things into words is a little... Uh. So what you essentially want to have is something which should look a little bit like that. And can you guys see what I mean? In relation to that first dark grey row, you just want to add another row, one block higher, one block outwards. Pretty easy to do. And once you have that second layer of dark grey wool added, you now want to take out your block of quartz, and you basically just want to go all around the outside of that second row of dark grey wool with your quartz. Just go all the way around the outside of it with your block of quartz, just as I'm doing now. And what you want to end up with is something which should look a little bit like this. Kind of a cool effect, right? Or at least I think so. I really like this roof. Once you've got the quartz taken care of, all we have to do now to completely finish this roof is just completely fill in the top of it with your glass block, and that's all you have to do to finish off this roof. Really simple. So, once you've reached this point right here, just take a little bit of time to just completely fill in the roof with your glass block. I wish we could use glass pane because I bet that would be an even cooler effect, but hey, what can you do? In the next update, maybe, who knows? So, what you want to end up with, just from a top view, and you might be able to see why we've done what we've done, from a top view, you want to end up with something which should look a little bit like this. Pretty cool effect, right? Or at least I think so. I really like this roof, as I just said. I've basically just repeated myself word for word, but I really do like this roof. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to some of the more detailed bits. So, since we're working from the top, shall we work our way down the house? Shall we start with the second floor and then take care of the ground floor? Yeah, why not? Let's get crazy. So come to the second floor of your house and literally come inside of your house. Take out your block of quartz and can you guys see the front and back center archways where we have these two vertical rows of free quartz block? Well, you basically want to reinforce each one of those four rows by adding an extra layer of block of quartz like directly behind them coming towards the center of the house if you guys can see what I've just done there. So you just want to add another layer of quartz directly behind each one of those four pillars of quartz just coming towards the center. Very simple. Once you've done that, you now want to take out your dark gray wool and you know what, as a matter of fact, I can't even really explain this part. I can't really put it into words, so I'm probably not going to try. I'm just going to kind of like add this part in and then show you guys the end result of this because, well, again, I, I just can't explain it. Some things I can't put into words. So you want to take out your dark gray wool and you want to add a layer of dark grey wool just sat on top of the second floor like this. Basically, you want to emulate what you did ever so slightly earlier with the roof. If you can see the layer of dark grey that we've added, it's basically parallel to that first layer of dark grey that we added for the roof, and it kind of just wants to, you know, sit inside of the rectangular shape that we have for the second floor of the house, if you guys can see what I've done there. Should be fairly obvious to see what I've done, hopefully. Anyway, once you've added that first layer of dark grey, you now want to take out your glass pane, and you basically just want to add a layer of glass pane directly on top of that layer of dark grey wall. So, just go all around the top of your dark grey wall with your glass pane, and just add in a layer of glass pane, just as I'm doing now. So, you just want to have a layer of glass pane just sat directly on top of your dark grey, like this. 
And once you've added in the layer of paint, you now want to just add another layer of dark grey wool directly on top of that layer of glass pane, and you should end up with a pretty cool effect once you've added in these three rows, and we'll take a look from the outside. We're kind of tombing ourselves in, but that's alright, we can break out of this in just a moment, and we'll actually have to make a door for the second floor balcony anyway, so we'll have to break some blocks. And you know what, I'll, I'll make that and then I'll show you guys what it should look like. So, um, knock that out. There, there, there and there. Quartz here, here and here. There we go, I think that's done. Let me have a look here. So, from the outside looking in, this is what you want to have. Can you guys see what we have there? It's pretty cool, right? So, you've got your layer of dark grey wool, layer of glass pane, layer of dark grey wool, and then you just want to... Right in the center of everything, in that center arch where you just want to have like a little mini doorway made out of quartz. And hopefully you guys won't have too much trouble adding that in for yourselves. I think it's quite easy, quite self-explanatory. And once you've got that taken care of, we can move on. Actually, there is one final touch that we can do to the second floor. So with your glass pane, you might just want to add a little bit of a glass balcony banister you just you might want to stop people from falling off of that tiny little second floor balcony right here with just that layer of glass pane and i think it actually improves things a little bit it does make it look uh, ever so slightly nicer the more glass the more better i always say so that is what you want to have for the second floor of your house just 100 percent completed once you've got that taken care of we can now move on to the first floor the ground floor if you will so shall we start with the entrance first yeah why not let's get crazy so we have to make the entrance in two parts we have to make this front part first which which is basically just a quartz doorway. Very, very easy to add in. You shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Once you've got that taken care of, we now have to come to the back of what we've just made. And with our dark grey wool, we basically just want to trace along the back of what we've just made. You just want to end up with something which should look a little bit like this with your dark grey wool. It kind of looks like a moustache. Once you've traced along the back of it, you then just want to add in a strip of dark grey on the left and right hand sides of what you've just made, and then you just want to fill the entire centre part in with your glass pane. So, you just, from the back, want to end up with this little moustachey shape, it really does, with glass pane in the centre of it, which should look like that pauses if necessary, but from the front view, you want to have something which should look a little bit like this. Looks a little bit better from the outside than it does in. And of course, as you guys might have determined, the reason that we had to add all of that dark grey wool is just to give the glass pane something to grip onto. Otherwise, you'd have like half panes and it wouldn't look very good whatsoever. So, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, we now just have to fill in all of the other panels for the house. And the way that I'm going to do this is the way that I always do this on houses. I'm kind of just going to add them in, show you guys the end result of it, and then we can be on our merry way. Because I don't think that it really benefits you too much. Me trying to explain block for block what you have to add where. Whereas you can just see what you have to do quite clearly. Just by looking at what I've done. So I'm just going to finish adding in these two front panels. And then we can take a look at them. Then we can move on. Both front panels are the same. So I'll tell you what. I'll give you a close up view of what they should look like. And the one on the left hand side is identical to this. Pause this video if necessary. Add all that you see here into your house. Once you've added in this to both sides of the house, and just to show you the front in its entirety, just so you can see it, as you can see, both sides are completely the same. Once you have this on the front of your house, once you've filled in all three of those front-facing panels, we can now move on. Pause this if necessary, of course. Moving on to the sides now. The sides are very, very simple. You basically just add a horizontal row of block of quartz on the bottom of the panel, throw a horizontal row of dark grey wool right in the center and then just throw glass pane everywhere else so for both sides of the house you want to have something which should look a little bit like that very very simple indeed and once you've got that first side taken care of of course you want to do the exact same thing on the other side so coming over to the other side and i'll give you a chance to pause this if you need to once i've completed this side and then we can move on to the back so you want to have something which should look, for both sides, 
something which should look exactly like this. Very, very simple. Pause this video if necessary. Once you've got both sides taken care of, we can now move on to the back of the house. So, moving on to the back of the house now, we're first of all just going to take care of both of the two side bits which are identical to each other and then we'll take care of the center part. So, let me just add this in here. And then we'll add the glass pane in in a second because we actually have to tamper with the center part of this house ever so slightly. Let me see here. So you want to come to the inside of your house before you try to add any form of glass pane. And you basically just want to reinforce these two vertical rows of block of quartz that we have here in the center of the back of the house. And you can either use quartz for this or equally you could also use dark gray wool. It's completely up to you. I'll go with quartz just because. And once you've done that, once you've reinforced them, you then want to... I'll, uh, I'll just finish adding in the glass pane actually and then I'll show you what you want to have for the two left and right panels on the back of the house. Let me add in the pane. One side done. Both sides done. So to show you the right hand side first, you basically want to have this on both sides of the back of your house. You just want to have that pattern right there. Very simple. And you guys might be able to see why I added in that extra strip of block of quartz just inside the house. It's just to give that most far left glass pane something to grip onto. It's, it's just as simple as that. And just to show you both sides together. That is exactly what you want to have. Very, very simple indeed. And once you've got both sides taken care of, we can now just do this center part, which is very, very simple. It's basically just a dark gray archway, completely filled in with glass pane, and there's nothing more to it. So just to give you guys an entire back view, once this is done, you want to end up with something which should look a little bit like this. Very, very easy indeed. And once you've got the entire back of your house taken care of, pause this if necessary, of course, you have 100% fully completed the structure of the house. Look at this thing. Looking pretty nice if you ask me. I really like this house. It combines a couple of elements of uh, modern houses that uh, I've made in the past and it kind of just combines all of them. Like, it takes some of the more recent... Uh, modern houses, the quartz houses, and it just combines them with some of the older ones that I've made, and I don't know, it looks really cool, I really like this house, I particularly like the roof as well, I really do love that roof, I don't know why it is, but I love that style. Anyway, once you've reached this point in the video, there is nothing more that I can show you, kind of, there's nothing more that I'm going to do a tutorial for. If you want, you can stick around because what I'm now going to do is I'm going to just cut this video out, I'm going to mess about with the interior a little bit, show you guys what it looks like once it's done, and I'm also going to add a slight bit of garden, although I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to add exactly, but I think I'll come up with something, so... The, t the tutorial for this ends here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. However, if you want to stick around, I'm now going to just mess about with the exterior and the interior just a little bit. So back in a moment. And I'm back. So this is what I've decided to do with the place, guys. We'll look at the interior before we look at the exterior. So coming to the interior, on the ground floor, you actually have quite a bit of room. It's nice and open. I decided to completely replace the floor with quartz, and I actually didn't do that on my first draft of this. I decided to go with dark grey wool, but I'm really liking the quartz, and it kind of feeds into the exterior a little bit as well. We'll have a look at that in just a moment, though. Uh, interior, nice and roomy, or at least on the ground floor lots of light really nice um staircase you only really have two choices you can either have it on the left hand side of the house and it will look somewhat like this or you can have it on the right hand side of the house and it will look somewhat like this you don't have too much choice because when you get up to the second floor as you can see you're a you're a little cramped you could even have two staircases because there is such a lack of room on the second floor you can't really do too much but i decided to just go for the one. Oh, and coming back to the staircase I'd, i've been going with this a lot recently with the modern house I don't know why, but I really like it. I like the quartz slash glass blend. I really love that. So, that's the ground floor, and that's the second floor. Not really anything I can say about the second floor. Coming to the little balcony, I don't know why. I love balconies, and I really like this little one. I like this little balcony. Any, any form of balcony. Small, big, looks pretty cool. So, that's the interior of the house. Not too much to say. And the exterior, there's not too much either, but... 
Coming back to the quartz flooring, I decided I wanted to go quartz because I kind of like wanted to extend it and like have it kind of leak onto the outside of the house a little bit, which is what I've done. I've decided, and I've not done this before, I wanted to put a moat around the house. I don't know why exactly, and I'm not sure that I like it 100%, I feel as though there's something lacking with the exterior. I then wanted to add a hedge, but I didn't think that it, it'd really fit. I think that you could do something really cool with the outside as uh, uh, yeah, getting tongue tied like a uh, coming back to what I was saying before I got incredibly tongue tied. I really do like the motor around the house. I really like the idea. I've not done it to a house before. It is lacking something though. It definitely needs some form of hedge, maybe some form of other attraction around the house. I'm not sure what to do with it exactly, like I said, but I'm sure that you guys are creative enough to come up with something for your own house as you'll be a little bit more invested. So that is what I've done with the house, pretty nice looking house, really like it, combines a lot of elements of my past modern houses, my past quartz houses. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you managed to make it no problem, see you in the next tutorial.